YouTube, this is for Ferran, I have a special review for you. Today I'm reviewing Deadpool Max Volume 1. Now this is going to be a special review because this is my first Deadpool book that I'm going to review. This is like the first one I've ever reviewed. Now this isn't the first one I've owned, I've owned many, uh, many Deadpool books. Huge portion of my trade paperbacks is Deadpool stuff, but I tend not to... I didn't really want to get into it because, first off, Deadpool is kind of like, I didn't want to jump the bandwagon, per se, but this is a brand new book. It came out like, uh, came out last year, late last year, I think, and it was, it's, it's a great book. Um, this has, it has its problems, though. This is published by Max, obviously. Max is a subsidiary of Marvel. It's one of Max's um, Marvel's adult titles, like Dead of Night, uh, Punisher Max. Uh, that's about it. I don't really know that many Max series. Um, but this is actually... For the long... Ever since I read... I first read Deadpool... The entire time I, re I was reading this, I was thinking, okay, this character needs um, his own Max series. And what Max, re what, if you don't know what Max means, Max is basically uncensored. So that means there's swearing, there's boobs, and you're like, how about the gore? Is there like, is, is the blood and guts like more intense? Yes, it is. Uh, substantial by by a lot by substantial sum. Uh, this is written by David Lapham, Lapham and art by Kyle Baker. Now, the art the art itself it's cartoony at, at times and it's he switches up his styles a lot. Like there's in flashbacks, it his style turns into kind of like a Frank Miller kind of look, and there's p p parts where character like where well most characters faces will be like you know like blandish. There will be sometimes where some characters are faces are like ultra detailed, and then you and there are some times where the faces look. Like, they're from, like, a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon. Um, but when the faces are, like, super detailed, oh, you realize, oh, that's supposed to be, like, a celebrity of some kind. Uh, I'm not gonna give away who some of the, um, uh, celebrity faces are used in this book, but, the, um, you'll get, you'll get at least one or two. Uh, okay, what's the story? Well, Max is his own universe, which I did not know that. I just, um, now, um, in this universe, he still, Deadpool still has his, um, he still has his, like, costume, but he, you do not know if he has his powers or not. Um, the point, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you don't know if it's just a f like a story that he uses just to bring fear to his enemies. Cause you, whenever you see him get hurt, it's just he gets a, like a cut or he gets shot. He gets flesh wounds. He doesn't get like he doesn't get limbs chopped up or his guts spilled or whatever. Um, but uh, let's go to the story. Um. Deadpool is hired by Bob. Bob works for a black ops operation group that works for the government, and he he uh, he hires Deadpool as like a freelancer. And um, Bob, who if you're thinking about Hydra Bob, but yes, it's him, and he does wear that costume. But he Bob is very different from the main books. Uh, he's actually the comic, 
comedic relief, and you're thinking, what, so that means Deadpool's not funny? Deadpool's funny, but all the really funny stuff, all the really funny moments in this book is with Bob, because he gets hurt, like, he gets, Bob gets, oh my god, a lot of bad shit happens to Bob in this book. He, like, the writer, he's, Bob's just there to get his ass kicked, like, really and to do like the really gross shit that you know Deadpool can't do but the Deadpool is hilarious in this book he really is um let me go back to the story uh so yeah Bob is Deadpool's handler and Deadpool you can't you're trying Deadpool is this is my wrong one problem with this book Deadpool is a lot like Daniel Way's Deadpool, and I know Daniel Way has his has his fanboys, but all the hardcore Deadpool fans, like Deadpool and Friends and M. Glassic and even me, I, well, I won't say I'm a hard a hardcore Deadpool fan, but I'm I'm getting there. We all hate Daniel Way. Daniel Way's probably like the shittiest fucking writer that they have at Mar. Marvel and this Deadpool kind of reminds me of the of his Deadpool, but not as bad. Um, he still treats Bob like shit, um, but uh, he's way funnier. He's crazy as shit and kind of, and he's I want to say he's straight up stupid. He's not, I don't think he's stupid, like he, strategically, he's actually really smart, but there are points where he like, he loses focus, kinda, and does somewhat stupid shit, uh, but that's, that only really happened once or twice, um, but let's go into the villains in this book, the villains are, you fight Cable, no, sorry, not, you don't really fight Cable, uh, you fight Hammerhead, uh, Hammerhead, I always thought Hammerhead was, like, just a, f I haven't read a lot of stuff, but I always thought Hammerhead was, like, a thug, like, a bodyguard to some of the bosses, like, Kingpin and Crime Master, all those, no, he's his own, um, he's his own boss, Deadpool gets, gets, gets hired to kill him, then there's the, and there's the other story where he has to kill Taskmaster, and there's this really huge twist that they did with Taskmaster. Uh, they also bring in Zemo. I actually like Zemo. Um, because I read Zemo's really getting the Thunderbolts from my heart, and I read this uh, mini series with Zemo. I actually really like Zemo. The Zemo, he's he in this universe, Zemo plays like a, it's kind of it's kind of like a mix between. Uh, the Nazis and the KKK, and he has the hood. He kind of he kind of reminds me of Hate Monger in a way. Um, but yeah, he, he you have that you have Zemo. Um, you also have Domino. Domino's in here, and Domino. Domino is way way different than she is in the six one six, which is the main. Marvel Universe. She is way different in this. And, uh, yeah. She, she's way different. And, and the way they introduce Dono, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna be like a WTF moment. Even bigger. And there's a lot of WTF moments in this book. But it's like the, it's the fucking biggest. Um, also Cable's in here. But Cable... Cable's in only in like one issue, and he doesn't do much. And Cable's one of those guys where you don't know if he's if Cable's actually who he is, who he, who he says he is, or is Cable just crazy like Deadpool? Because apparently, oh no, I can't say it, it's a spoiler, but uh, but yeah. Uh, what I will say this Cable kind of. What did work for the organization that Deadpool is currently working with. 
Oh, but I, this is hilarious. Bob, the only way Bob can get Deadpool to do anything is he has to say, he has to tell him that we're going to kill operatives of the Hydra. Which I think is fucking hilarious. Because apparently in this universe, Hydra, you don't know if Hydra is real or not. And to a lot of people, they, they say Hydra isn't. But uh, apparently Deadpool believes in Hydra and believe and Deadpool refers to Hydra as the evil. The evil. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, like uh, his ha hatred for Hydra and like, like how like how it like how does all fucking ah uh, I can't even explain it. It's just there are a lot of hilarious moments and there's I I read this. It's been weeks since I read this uh, book. I I re I reread it again like recently, and it was even more hilarious the second time. Like there was, I picked up jokes that I missed. I even noticed little be uh, little parts of the art. Like there, there'll be like little cool things in the background in some of the some of the panels. Like oh I didn't notice that before. That's pretty cool. Um yeah. I'm gonna go with my likes, dislikes. Okay, unlike uh dislikes. I'm sorry, likes. Uncensored. And it doesn't use it too much. Like they don't swear too much. Cause swearing when it's done right is awesome, but if it's used too much it's uh, it's it gets retarded, but yeah. Um interesting characters. It's humorous. Great plot. Character details and structuring. Oh, there's, there's also good drama elements with Deadpool's past. Uh, I I put it's, I I put it's episodic issues, which is great for Deadpool. That's not true. This book. Now that I really think about it, this book is not episodic. It's, it's more of an arc. But they will they will take breaks between the arcs to do kind of a like episodic thing, like to have like s kind of like standalone issues, but not really. Most Deadpool books that I've read are like episodic kind of. But no, this is this is arcs, and it's really well. It's done really well. Uh, also, the gore is pretty good. The gore, the gore is, the gore is good. It's drawn well. Um, there are parts of it though where like he doesn't move and like the injury, like no way it would have been that much. But well, you you, you you let go. Dislikes. I put bad art. Uh, I don't know the art. Sometimes like the art is a bit too much. It's it's too rough for my like, but yeah, it it's it's too rough. I, I it's it's too rough for my for me. I some people like it. I the art kind of it kind of grows on me, so I should really t take that out. But yeah, the art's not that great. The nudity is drawn horribly. There is nudity, but it's drawn so shitty. Uh, action, the action in this book, uh, is pretty, it's, it's pretty bad. I, I'll, I'll straight up say it. Uh, badly drawn, uh, swords. Uh, Deadpool is out of character. Deadpool is slight. Deadpool is kind, is a little bit out of character in some parts, but not really. When I did these, these, did, did, when I did all this shit, when I wrote this review, uh, this was like right after I first read it. The second time, I the second time I read it, I actually, I started to like it more. So a lot of these dislikes, you can take it out. Uh, you can just take it out. Uh, my rain is a low, must own. Uh. Nah, fuck that. It's it's a must own. It's a high must own. Uh, it's a great book. I this is one of my favorite Deadpool books. Like I'll put that up there with 
with uh, Merc with a mouth. That's all I gotta say. See you.